you hear me, right? Yes. Hear me. Okay, I appreciate the interview from Baca. Jeff, I'm a big fan of yours. I know, I know you as an amateur, I used to watch you, your rankings. You're number seven, I was number six, you went to number six, so I used to follow you a lot. And Jeff, as your amateur fight, you went, you're 100, at the 100 day, you went professional, right? Right? Or you went title, right? 196 days from amateur to professional, yeah, the, the shortest time back then, yeah. Yep. 28. 28. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I, um, yeah, I went to the Olympics after 20, 24 fights or something like that, yeah. I went to the World Cup in Rome in 19, um, in 83 with Jesse Benavides and the boys, and um, that was um, only my 12th amateur fight then, so yeah. And you fought the Yugoslavian that you took, you took a bronze, right? You took a... Well, I won. The, the judges yeah. said I won in the, at the Olympics, and the judge overturned my decision. So I really came home with nothing. So, um, but it was a great experience, and I think um, you learn from all those things. It made me it made me pretty hungry. And then I ended up fighting the gold medalist Stephen McCrory as a professional wow. in Australia. I stopped wow. him in the fourth round. It was fifteen rounds back then. So yeah, I knocked out McCrory in the fourteenth round. Well, you know what? I forgot, I forgot all about that because I thought we fought Stevie too. Stevie was a bad fighter back in the day. Stevie was a good fighter. Yeah, Stevie fought. Yeah. Hey, so now, now and when you fought, let me, let me jump up. So you fought uh, for the world title. You fought Zero Gosa. So you fought Zero Gosa for a title shot. Daniel? And I am, um, Daniel and I had a fight. Um, we fought in uh, 86, but he had, um, it, was just a, it was just a fight. There was no title. But uh, yeah, I beat him every round. I yeah, you know, I beat Daniel Zaragoza quite convincingly. And I was like, I think it was only my about my tenth, tenth or eleventh pro fight. Yeah. Yeah, and Jeff, and Jeff I, um, I, I gotta tell you, when I saw. I, I remember when Caesar Palace, I was Vegas, Nevada. I can't tell you, I forget the year. When I saw the fight, you fought Azuma Nelson. Great hell of a fight, and you won the fight. But the way, yeah. the, but the way they, you know, a boxing. Go ahead, and explain. That was a great fight. Like I said, um, I think everybody knows I won the fight, Paul. I mean, the, the sad thing is, like, today they look and they go back and look at things. And, yeah, yeah, I, I would have been, you know, that, that would have been my fourth world title. That was in six years. Uh, Floyd won four world titles in 10 years. So that would have been my sixth year as a, as a uh, pro. Yeah, you know, so, um, yeah, uh, it was, um, yeah, look, um, everybody, I mean, I, I won at least, at least 10 rounds of the fight and they still, still gave it a draw. So, uh, pretty difficult there in Vegas sometimes. But look, like I said, Paul, everything happens for a reason. I'm happy if I won one title. I'm happy just to, to be able to compete. And, and I've met some great people in the sport. I'm, uh, you, you're my great friend. I've met some beautiful people in the sport of boxing and because of boxing. So boxing's been great to me. Oh, you know, I just got done talking to Marissa Sulman. I mean, you know everybody in the game. The sport. They all, Durant, they all love you. Durant, Tyson. And you also trained Mike Tyson for a while, too. I mean, you worked with a lot of people. Everybody likes you, man. You, I mean, you know, Paul, I think the ultimate... Accolade titles are great, winning world titles. But if your peers that were great fighters in the past, if they respect you, you know you've made it in the sport. And I've got a lot of respect from a lot of great fighters. And like I said, so I'm proud of what I've done. All right. Hey Jeff, now let's bring. Up, okay, so I'm gonna bring up a couple of things. First of all, I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm new at this media stuff. So. Jeff, you got a fighter, Brock. He's a guy. His he, I mean, he's a. I think he's like. I forget his record was, but. Uh, he has mean body shots. Mean body shots. Your fighter. Yeah, he's, a, yeah he, he's got a big fight. Uh, Brock Jarvis, his name is. And we'll be bringing him to America soon. But he's got a big fight coming up on uh, Friday, the 11th of, of December here in Australia. He's fighting another undefeated Filipino fighter from Australia. So it's going to be a, yeah, a tough fight. But Brock's ready. We've been training really hard. He's had great sparring. And he's ready to, he's ready to shock the world. Okay, I'm mean, I got tag, I'm a tag born Adam just a portion. You went they, you guys went to the gym and work out over there, right? You just a born Bowen Adams, right? Did you use the Yeah, gym, yeah, right? yeah. We yeah, we sparred at Bones' gym there, yeah, Brock sparred there. It was a gr a great session. We're looking forward to going back and doing more work there when we come to America. Bones is a great friend of mine, so yeah, good, yeah he's a great yeah. man. Right okay, my brother. I appreciate well quick. Let me ask you quick one more question. I do a little short interviews, my brother. I appreciate it. Hey uh can we uh, can we bring it up if it's okay? What what happened with you with the problem? Can we bring that up? Yeah, with yeah. my heart? Yeah. I don't I don't really know, Paul. I was just um yeah, I was just overseas and I started to get a little sick and then I got weaker and weaker and one day I just went to to my hotel room and um 
I was blessed that young Brock and the boys um, rang the ambulance because they knew how sick I was because I told them I didn't want the ambulance. Just let me rest and sleep. If I would have went to sleep that night, I wouldn't have woke up. I'm, my uh, my valve my valve inside oh. my heart was totally infected. And yeah, I, I would have died if I went to sleep that night. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I'm blessed to, to still be here and I'll make the most of it. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Jeff, another thing real quick. I remember when we met, we met with the, the Tyson Holyfield fight. And you're telling me you used to break your hands. You broke your hands a lot, right? When you fought, right? Yeah, I had, yeah. Um, wow. So, so many fights. In, uh, before I fought Steve McCrory, I'd broken training. I had, I've had seven operations. I've had pins put in both my hands. And so, yeah, a lot of, I had a lot of them. A lot of, you know, like most probably 80, 85% of my fights, my hands would have been broken. Hey, Jim, I'm going to tell you, I never forget the story you told me. You we were out there. You said that you're at Mike Tyson's house with the White Tigers. And you're playing with them, and Mike said, "Don't run because it'll chase you." Go ahead, Jeff. Sorry, well, he, well, I was walking with him, and he, but he, but he pushed me in the cage and locked me in there, and I, 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 I went wider than the tiger. I was very, I'm, you know, I'm scared of dogs, you know. So, um, you know, the, the tiger, while he was near me, I, I felt safe, but in there on my own, I was very, very scared. Okay. I appreciate you. I do a little short every month. I appreciate you. I'm big on big fan of yours. You know that, Jeff. Jeff, can I ask you, you who, who you got for the fight tonight? The, the Garcia fight and Spence fight. Who you got? Yeah, I've got, I think uh, I think Spence has got just a better skill set. I just like thinking it's going to be a tough fight. But uh, yeah, as long as it's a great fight, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it. It starts here and it's right around one o'clock. So we'll be sitting there watching the fights here. And then, yeah, you enjoy yourself and stay safe, my brother. I right, thank you too, man. I appreciate it, Jeff. Real quick, I'll see you again when you come in the States, okay? Man? I got a lot yes, of you will for sure, Paul. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Bye, brother. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Love you, bro. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.